Well, EMU was a game changer for me. I'm a first generation college student. And so we didn't have discussions at home around money or finance or anything else. So I, the world of finance was foreign to me until I got to Eastern Michigan and decided to figure out what my major would be. And I knew that business was gonna be that major, but I started off in an international business, which is a great marketing degree with the language. And once I took a couple classes, I realized what came really easy to me was accounting. And I graduated in 1992 with a bachelor's in business administration. And what I'm doing now is I'm the head of Advancing Black Pathways for J.P. Morgan Chase. I'm responsible for addressing the racial wealth gap for black people in our country. And that's a really big, bold goal. I am listening and trying to understand where the firm can have value and impact to address the racial wealth gap and to create better economic conditions. And we wanna make sure that that access to capital and the tools that help people provide jobs for others is available to all communities. What I love most about my career is to be able to tie the education I got from Eastern Michigan University and accounting, but do good with it in the community. One of the things that Eastern taught me was the ability to give back and to volunteer. I'm glad that Eastern afforded me the opportunity to, to lean in with my passion around doing good and making a difference in the community with the knowledge of being an accountant. So understanding how to, financial systems can make a difference in the community is what I, what I really enjoy. Having an affordable education I could do in four years was really important to me. And then when I got on campus, there are two women that really made a difference were like angels in my life that I met, Dr. Lynette Finley and Dr. Nora Martin. And they showed me what it would look like if I could actually accomplish this thing called education. Dr. Lynette Finley ran student services in the diversity and inclusion office. And, and working with her and having her give me advice and counsel really made the difference. And the same thing for Dr. Martin. And they just happened to have one thing in common. They both were members of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And so I went on to pledge that sorority in college because they were living examples of what I could be if I really pursued one, a quality education, did it with excellence, and also gave back to the community in an organization of women, other collegiate women who made a difference in the community every day. I'm not a big person around awards or recognition. I feel like my work should speak for itself, but also know that representation matters. And to see a young lady like me who had very humble beginnings, and if we just want to be honest, I grew up poor and didn't really understand what a college education could do for me. And now that I've achieved it, I want somebody to look at me and say, I could be that person, just like Dr. Lynette Finley and Dr. Norm Martin were that for me. I want to be that for another young student at EMU. I'm honored to receive the Distinguished Alumni Award for Eastern Michigan University to an organization and university that poured so much into me in my formative years. I started at EMU at 18 years old, and when I graduated, I was much better prepared for the world, and really the opportunities that I got from Eastern set me up for my career, and I can't thank my sorority sisters enough. I can't thank Dr. Nora Martin, Dr. Lynette Finley, and all of the EMU faculty that poured into me. A special shout out to Geraldine Cruz. She believed in me, and because of her belief in me and that commitment to staying on my case, I, I've had the opportunities I've had, so thank you, EMU.